Hello, this is Mac Musa, and welcome to this demo video about Enhanced Open. The setup for this demo is pretty simple. An access point, broadcasting an Enhanced Open SSID, and two clients, one that supports OWE and one that doesn't. A third laptop running a Wi-Fi sniffer will capture the packets in the air. I use the controller and a campus AP here, but an IAP setup could equally do the job. It is important here to run Aruba OS 8.4 or higher to get the enhanced open feature. This is the Ubuntu client. As we can see, the client is running Ubuntu 18.04.2 LTS. It, uh, it has uh, a WPA supplicant that supports Enhanced Open ACA OWE. In the setup, I will also have uh, a legacy client that will connect to the OpenSSID. On the Ubuntu client, I will start a shell script that will build uh, an OWE configuration on the fly and launch the WPA supplicant to connect to the OpenSSID demo-owe. From there, the supplicant will be redirected to associate with the hidden OWE SSID. A four-way handshake will follow uh, the association and the data that uh, uh, over going over that connection will uh, be encrypted. We'll be able to see the association from the output of iwconfig and the DHCP IP address acquired from ifconfig. Before launching this script, I will start uh, a Wi-Fi packet capture. As we can see from the output of uh, iwconfig, uh, that the client is now associated to the OWE hidden SSID. And we have an IP address, uh, 172.16.20.141. Let's ping the internet to validate the connectivity. So I'll ping 8.8.8.8. .8 okay, we have connectivity to the internet. I'll launch a browser now. And the browser connected, you know, to uh, the Aruba website. Let's take a look now at the packet capture taken while the two clients were connecting to the, OW, the OWE SSID demo-OWE in transition mode. We will see that the legacy client traffic is all in the clear since it is, the SSID is, is really open. However, the uh, OWE enabled client traffic will be encrypted. Um, Let's review a few of the 802.11 management frames of interest, namely the beacons, the probe re uh, response from the hidden SSID, the association request and response, and the four-way handshake. So starting with the beacons, I'm going to look at the first, uh, uh, the open SSID uh, beacon, uh, demo OWE, and this is this is a regular open SSID beacon. Uh, the, the only difference is just an additional tag uh, or information element uh, specific to uh, OWE and uh, uh, the ID is 221 and th this uh, information element is pointing to the hidden SSID. Now if we go to the uh, hidden SSID beacon and there are two uh, information elements that stand out. One is the RSN information that contains the um, uh, OWE AKM and the uh, the other uh, tag similar to the open SSID that's pointing to that SSID uh, demo o uh, dash OWE. Uh, let's take a look now at the traffic uh, the OWE client traffic specific. So I'm going to apply a filter, and here we see a bunch of uh, probe requests and responses. Uh, 
namely the uh, probe request to the OpenSSID that was in the configuration of WPA supplicant. Now the OWE enabled client is going to be re uh, referred to the hidden SSID and it will send a probe request to that hidden SSID and, and get the probe response. The probe response uh, will contain the uh, an RSN ele element as well. Now, the uh, going to the 802.11 authentication, they are just regular uh, open uh, uh, authentication. So it's open system. From there, we move to the associ association request from the client. Here we have the RSN uh, information. And uh, again, with the AKM, uh, the OWE AKM. And if we look at the RSN capabilities, we are going to see that we have the uh, management frame protection required here. So any OWE client is required to have uh, management frame protection. So we see that uh, we have the, the, uh, uh, the flags uh, capable and required. Now, in addition to the RSN information element, we have uh, another important uh, uh, IE, which is the OWE Diffie-Hellman parameter, and where the uh, client uh, sends uh, uh, its public key to the AP. The association response is going to have uh, is going to have a tag. Uh, the OWE Diffie-Hellman parameter tag and where the AP sends uh, its public key to the client. From here, the uh, client and APs, they, uh, they create their uh, uh, PMK, uh, pairwise master key. And they are ready to go through the uh, four-way handshake, uh, message one, message two, uh, message three, and four. So here is where we have the four messages. After that, all the traffic from and to that client uh, is encrypted. Moving now to uh, take a look at the uh, legacy client traffic. And here we the traffic, we should be able to see that uh, the traffic is, is all uh, nuclear as, as expected from a regular open SSID. So here we can see the, uh, all the traffic from, uh, from that client. The uh, CP request res uh, response here. Uh, and then we will see, you know, all open traffic. So again, the OWE in transition mode is able to support uh, to be backward compatible and to support uh, uh, regular clients uh, coming to an open SSID and uh, OWE enabled client that uh, will uh, uh, get to the hidden SSID and uh, exchange their keys and uh, get their uh, data traffic encrypted.